So now that your content brief is all set up, it's time to create an in-depth outline that'll set your writer up for success. Here's how to do it. Okay, so once your SEO content brief is created, what we need to do next is create our outline. Click on the outline tab and you have a few options. Number one is, you know, you can look at the competitors and put things in there that you think are, are relevant. So let's say we wanted this one, we just throw that in and this is automatically gonna get put in here and this is, it'll be whatever heading that it was for the competitor, it's gonna be the heading in here. Now, I think in this case for the one that I'm going after, it's probably easier to do this manually, but just for the sake of doing this, I'm gonna show you, you can do this the manual part or we can click the AI outline. So then the AI is gonna build this out automatically and it's gonna take this little seed that you gave it and that's how it's usually gonna build out that content. It will also look at the competitors as well, but more than likely it's gonna really focus on this specific seed that you gave it. So you can tell it actually came up with some pretty solid options, but remember this is just, this is just an outline, right? This is not by any means exactly what you should give your writer or exactly Exactly what you should write on. This is just a place to start. Okay. And of course I'm going to edit this and make it better. But for the sake of doing this, I just want to show you like, let's say this was perfect. Well, what you would do is you just go into the share once again, and now you're going to see for the writer what we have. So now we have, not only do we have the overview, we've got the SEO ideas, we've got the similar content, and now we've got the nice content outline in here that they can work with. Now to go to the next level, what we want to do is we're actually going to go back into rankability. And this is the part that's really amazing is you go into the optimizer. Okay. And what you can do is you can actually just go to the content brief. Once again, this is like a shortcut for the content brief and you can go ahead and just actually paste this over into the, the editor. Okay. So that means within a second, we've got the full outline in here. And then if we go back to this, you'll see it's, it's going to be in here now, which means now the writer can go in here and begin the process of creating this content with the NLP keywords in mind. So giving them this outline that's really well optimized is the key. Like you want to give them a really well optimized outline and then let them work their magic. What I mean by that when it comes to SEO copywriting, because there is there is some specific nuance that you do need to follow when it comes to SEO copywriting. But for the most part, like just to kind of review this process, what we're doing to begin is we're, we're creating a detailed content brief that will guide the writer properly. Then we're going to create an outline and then we're going to go ahead and just paste that outline into the optimizer by going to the content brief section. Okay, that's it. Simple as that. And by the way, you can, you can make edits to this all you want you can change all this you can you can continue to you know customize and then at this point now all that's left is we just need to start writing the content right and this is assuming you've done all the other steps the other steps right like you picked a good angle and all that good stuff and going back to angles just so you know like this one here top seo training courses in vancouver you'll see if we look up if we look this keyword up and we actually just go to the competitors tab you'll see that the reason why i picked that angle is because no one has really done that angle particularly well okay like these guys have i would say this is probably Probably the best one because they do have like dedicated classes and um, you know some specific some specific variable elements but for the most part it's actually not very specific right they have a Tampa SEO training Academy in here which is not relevant to this main keyword so what we're gonna do is build out something that's highly highly relevant uh, and you know sometimes believe it or not like when we're thinking about angles sometimes being just the most relevant is the best angle that you can pick right it's not always about being like we got to do something that's radically different. Sometimes you need to literally build out a more relevant asset compared to everyone else who's ranking. And I can show you an example of this. I teach this in Gotcha SEO Academy, but this is this specific keyword. I'll show you iMovie crashes when importing. This is one that I've been ranking for for probably two or three years at this point. And prior to this point, this this particular keyword on gotchaseo.com was ranking like number 60 or 70 or something like that. And it was because I had an iMovie review page. So if you go to iMovie review, I'll show you and we'll see. I don't even know if I'm ranking for this. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, here we go. So this post here was ranking for this specific keyword phrase and it was ranking like, you know, numbers, like I said, well beyond 50. Okay, so what I did is I splintered off and I created a dedicated asset specifically for this keyword phrase. And within about a week or week and a half, it hit number one. So the reason for that is because when I when I studied the search results, I saw that the, the angle here was to build out the most relevant asset, right? Because when I saw everyone else, you know, your iMovie keeps crashing. Okay, this is not specific enough. This is not relevant enough to this specific keyword phrase, right? It's not. So what I would do 
is build out the most relevant asset and that is my angle, okay? So it's not always about coming up with some revolutionary angle. Sometimes it's just as simple as like, I'm gonna build out the most relevant asset for this keyword. And the good news is when, you, when you're dealing with the lower competition keywords, it's usually pretty easy, okay? So I just wanted to show you that real quickly and that's why for this particular angle, which you'll see me build here, this is more about a curated type of asset and we'll all kind of you know walk you through how this will develop and you'll see me actually create this content in the next couple of videos.